Hello, everybody. How are you? Welcome back to Brain Bank book series. I'm Brian, your teacher for today. Take a look at this picture. This is the cover of the book we will read today. The title is Sculptures. Sculptures. Oh, 조금 힘들어, right? Sculptures. What is a sculpture? Do you see a sculpture in this picture? Yes, we see the sculpture is here. What is it a sculpture of? What is the sculpture of? If you look closely, we see a mother, Oma, and a baby, Agi, right? So it is a sculpture. It is a sculpture of a mother and her baby. A mother and her baby. Who is making this sculpture? Who is it? Is it a man or a woman? We can see it is a man. Is he using his hands? To make the sculpture? No. He's using a tool. He's using a type of tool. Tool is T O O L. He's using a tool to make the sculpture. What do we call him? If this is a sculpture, he is a sculpture. Tor, a sculptor. So let's read about sculptures and the people who make them. Are you ready? Let's begin. <clears throat> What is a sculpture? A sculpture is a carved or shaped work of art. It's art. The mother and her baby, that is art. Art. People who make sculptures are called sculptors. The man in the picture before this one is a sculptor. He's a sculptor. He makes a sculpture. Did he use his hands? No. We said he was using a tool. In the bottom of this picture, We can see many different kinds of tools. Okay? These are used to make sculptures. In the first two, it says clay. Clay. Clay is jin hook. Jin hook, right? That's clay. In the middle one, it says wood. Wood is from a tree, namu, right? It's wood. The bottom two, it says stone. Stone is dul, dul, very, very strong. So stone. So we can see that sculptures are made of different materials. Clay, wood, and stone. This And this are clay modeling tools. A clay modeling tools. We make a model, a shape. A model is also a sculpture. A clay modeling tool. We have two kinds. Here it says a wood chisel. Chisel. Can you say that word? Chisel. Chisel. A chisel. Is a uh, sharp on this end. Joshim Hale, be careful. Don't push it against your skin. Don't do that. It's sharp. Ooh, we h a m i s a l A chisel, and then you have a hammer like this one, and you go tuck, 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 and you can carve the wood or you can carve stone. This chisel is much stronger than that chisel. Wood. Is not as tough as stone. 
So a stone chisel, oh, no more, uh, is very strong. And a stone hammer, tuck, 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 tuck. And then you can carve the stone. So sculptors use different tools. Use different tools because the material is different. Clay material, wood material, and stone material. So we need different tools. Okay. They use many different materials. Like I said, clay, wood, and stone. Let's look at this woman. What is she doing? She is making a sculpture. What do we call her? We call her a sculptor. Good, good job. Now, what material is she using? Well, we can look at her tool. Do you see the tool she is using in this picture? Do you see it? Here it is. It looks like the tool we saw before. This tool, this shape on the end, that's the same shape as this one here. And this is a clay modeling tool. That's what she is using here. So, we can know this material is clay. And what is she making out of the clay? She's making horses and warriors. Now, clay is easy to shape, right? Clay is like mud. Mud that has some water in it, you can push it, you can shape it, and it stays like this. If you put clay in a lot of heat, the clay becomes hard and you can't shape it anymore. So she's using wet clay. Later she will dry it with heat and it will become a finished sculpture. So she is a sculptor. She is making a clay sculpture. She's using a clay modeling tool. Let's continue. Now, that's clay. Another type of material is stone. Clay is easy to shape, right? We can push clay with our finger, boop, no problem. We make a difference in the shape. But if you take your finger and you push stone, what happens? Nothing. <laughs> okay? The stone is very strong. You can't change the shape. However, some sculptors work with stone. They cut. They cut the stone with tools, very strong tools. They shape it with other tools. So first, they use one kind of tool to cut the stone. So they cut the stone into a block or a brick or a cube. They cut the stone, then they use other tools to shape the stone. So what is he doing? He has a stone chisel and he's using a hammer here. So he's using a stone hammer and a stone chisel, chane pasel, stone hammer, stone chisel, to shape this stone into something. Do we know what he's making? I don't know. It's too early. He's starting it. He's still at the beginning stage. So later, na jungye, we can see what he is making. But right now, I don't know what he's making. I have no idea. I can't tell. Okay. Do you know these sculptures? These sculptures are very famous. Where do you think these sculptures are? Have you seen pictures of these before? Maybe in your history textbook. In your history textbook, in your world history textbook, you might 
see these pictures. They are from Egypt. A long, 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 long time ago. <laughs> okay? Egyptian sculpture. How long ago? Think about 3,000 years chane. 3,000 years ago. 3,000 years? Oh my gosh! How old are you? <laughs> Maybe you are 8, 10 years old, somewhere in there. Do you know anybody who is 3,000 years old? Of course not. Most people, we only live maybe to 80 years old. That's if we're lucky, right? 80 years old. Nobody lives 3,000 years ago. Nobody remembers 3,000 years ago. That's a long, long time ago. But these sculptures were made thousands, thousands of years ago. Some stone sculptures are thousands of years old. They are made of stone. Stone is very strong. So they still last until today. Yes, we can see there is some damage, right? There's some damage. Oops, let me do that again. D A M a G E damage over a long time some parts of the sculpture get broken that is damage of course these are thousands of years old but still they're in good condition not much damage chokum chokum damage a little damage but they still last today that's how amazing stone sculptures. Some stone sculptures are. They go back thousands of years. This is a statue. It's not that old. It is a stone statue, but it's not very old. It's not thousands of years old. Do you know where it is? This is a statue in Singapore by the beach. What is it a statue of? It looks like an animal. It looks like an animal. This part we can recognize. We know this animal here. This, of course, looks like a lion. So it has a lion, a lion's head. It looks like a lion. Now this part is strange. What does this part look like? The bottom part looks like a fish but a special kind of fish. Do you know a mermaid? Mermaid. A mermaid is not a real animal. It's not a chincha dongmul, right? It's not a real animal. It's a fantasy animal, like in animation or cartoons or uh, fairy tales. So this part is of a mermaid. The statue together is called a merlion. Merlion. A merlion, not a mermaid. A maid is a young woman. A mermaid is a woman and fish. But this is lion and fish. So this is a merlion. By the way, mer means sea or ocean. Okay? So, merlion. This is a merlion in Singapore. It's a stone statue. It's also, you see, what's this? This is water. Water is coming out of its mouth. So, some statues, we call them as, whoops, let me see this, fountain. F-O-U-N-T-A-I-N. Fountain, that's a T. Fountain. So many statues, especially in cities, in Seoul, maybe you can see some statues with water coming out of them. Many cities have fountains, statues 
with water coming out of them. Sometimes kids like to play in them. Sometimes people just look at them and say, wow, it's very nice and maybe refreshing in the summertime. So these are fountains, statues with water coming out of them, usually made of what? Made of stone. Okay, so we've talked about stone statues. What are some other kinds of statues? Well, we'll look at different kinds of statues in part two. We've come to an end of part one. So let's take a break and I will see you in part two. Don't go away. Bye bye for now. Hello kids. Welcome back to part two of sculptures. So in part one, do you remember what we talked about? What kind of material were we talking about? We were talking about stone and we saw some sculptures from Egypt. Well, another material, a different material that sculptors use is wood from trees, namu, right? They use wood. Some sculptors work with wood. Some make big sculptures, others make small sculptures. Look at this woman here. What is the material she is using? She is using wood. And is it a big sculpture or a small sculpture? Of course, we can see it is a big sculpture. Look at the sculpture. What is the sculpture? It looks like somebody's head. This head is bigger than the woman, right? Much bigger than the woman's head. So this sculpture might be very big, right? She is using what is she using? Remember the tools we talked about in part one? She is using a chisel and a hammer. A chisel and a hammer. A chisel and a hammer. And she uses these tools to shape the wood. Look at this picture. What do you see? You see a dog and you see a bird standing on the dog. What is the material made or used to make these sculptures? What is the material? Is it stone? Is it clay? Or is it wood? If we look closely, we can see it's wood because we can see the texture. We can see, ah, that's wood. But look, there's something interesting. Is it all one color? Wood is usually brown. This part is brown, but what color is this? What other colors do you see? What other colors are there? We can see blue, two different kinds of blue. We can see purple. Purple is similar to blue. We can see red and orange. So we see many different colors. How did those colors get there? Those colors are made by paint, okay? Sometimes wooden sculptures are painted. So we can paint wood easily and we can paint wooden sculptures. So they've painted the dog and they painted the bird. This Sculpture is a kind of art from a certain place or a certain culture. Here it says Native American sculpture. What does Native American mean? You know American, Miguk Saram, right? I am a Miguk Saram. I am an American. But what is Native American? Native Native means a person who lived in America for a long, long time before Europeans came to America. 
Well, you can also say American Indians, but usually it's better to say Native American. They are the people who lived in America for thousands of years before the Europeans came. And they had their own style, their own type of art. This is Native American sculpture. Okay. So we saw wood. First we saw stone in part one. We just talked about wood, but remember we talked about clay on the cover of the book. Clay is another material. Clay is another material sculptors use to make sculptures. Let's read. Some sculptors work with clay. They shape the clay when it is soft and damp. Damp? What does that mean? What is damp? Damp means it has some water in it. Clay is like mud. Mud bistandale, right? Mud bistandale. Whoa, <laughs> okay. Uh, clay is like mud. If you go to a river or a lake and you put your hands in the ground, sometimes you can take up pieces of the ground and it's sticky, right? It sticks together. That's clay. There's a lot of water in it. If you take the clay and you push it and you mold it, you get some of the water out. Not all of the water. You keep some water in. It's still damp. Some water. Right? A little water is in the clay. If all the water is gone, the clay becomes hard and it's, you can't shape it. But when it's damp, some water, you can push it and you can shape it into a sculpture. Look at this woman. What is she making? She's making a sculpture of a woman's head. It's very beautiful. She is very good at making sculptures. She is a good sculptor. Now, these clay structures, or these clay sculptures, are life-size. Life-size? If you look at these sculptures, they are the same size as me. They are sculptures of men. If these sculptures are the same size as me or you, then they are life-size. The same size as in life. Not smaller than life, not bigger than life, but life-sized. The same size as real people or real things. Thousands, thousands were buried with a Chinese emperor. Maybe you heard about these statues before. They were buried with a Chinese emperor. The emperor died more than 2,000 years ago. But they're made of clay. How did they last for 2,000 years? Before we saw uh, statues from Egypt that have been uh, okay for 3,000 years, but they're made of stone. Clay is not as hard as stone. It's weaker. How did these sculptures remain in good condition? They were buried, right? They were buried. That means underground. Dirt was put on top of them. The dirt protected these sculptures. So when they took the dirt up, they could see the sculptures. But now they have to be careful because the air is hurting these statues. So it's interesting. But there are thousands of statues like this.
Okay, here is a picture of all the statues that were buried with Emperor Jin Shi Huang. Probably you remember his name. Look at all of the statues, thousands of statues, and they are all life size. But they are made of clay, so they have to be careful. Look at the picture here. Oh no. All of these statues were destroyed. Why? Maybe because they weren't careful digging them up, or maybe because the air is damaging them. So some statues, they're putting the earth back onto them to protect the statues and keep them safe. But this is a famous example of clay statues. So we've seen different types of material to make statues. We've seen stone, we've seen wood, and now we've seen clay. Is there any other material we can use? Well, that's in part three. We'll study that in part three of sculptures. I'll see you then. Hello kids! Welcome back to part three of Sculptures. I'm your teacher, Brian. Now remember, in part one and part two, we talked about different material for making sculptures. We talked about stone, we talked about wood, and we talked about clay. Are there other materials we can use to make sculptures? Yes, there are. Majayo. Isoyo. One material is called metal. Metal? What is metal? Let's read. Some sculptors work with metal. They use metals such as bronze and steel. Bronze and steel are types of metal. Metal is used a lot these days. Your car, your family car, is made of metal. Okay? Sometimes these sculptures have moving parts. Wow! Really cool! But if you think about it, Think about a robot. Maybe somebody makes a robot and puts it in front of a building and the robot moves like this. That is a sculpture made of metal with moving parts. Look at the picture. What is this man doing? He's making a sculpture. What is the sculpture of? We can see a big eye here and we can see a beak like a bird here. We can see it is a bronze owl. Bronze is a metal that's shiny and kind of brown or yellow. It looks like gold, but it isn't the same as gold. Gold. Kum. Right? Gold is kum. Very expensive. Nomu pisayo. Right? But bronze, sayo. Gold, pisayo. Bronze, sayo. Bronze is not expensive. Gold is expensive. Of course, it's easier to make a bronze statue or sculpture than a gold sculpture. You don't need much money to make a bronze sculpture. Okay, what other materials are there? Oh, actually, let's look at another example of a metal sculpture. This is a sculpture made of steel. Steel. And what is it? It looks like a flower, doesn't it? Oh, no more chemisoyo. This flower has petals. The petals open in the morning they close at night. Wow, that's really cool. That means 
The petals, these are the petals of the flower. See this big piece here? This piece moves. All of these pieces are the petals. They move. They close at night and open in the morning. That's crazy. That's really, really cool. It's just like a real flower. A real flower will open its petals in the morning and at night it goes to sleep. It closes its petals at night. So an artist, an artist, a sculptor, made this sculpture of a flower using steel and it has moving parts. Wow, really cool. Will you become a sculptor? Can you think of some cool sculpture like this that you can make? That's really cool. Think about it. Let's look at other material. Ice and snow. You can use ice and snow to make a sculpture? Yes, you can. Some sculptors work with ice. They chisel the ice. Other sculptors work with snow. These sculptures do not last long. Why? Okay, let's take a look at the picture. What is this man doing? He is making a sculpture of, from ice. He is using ice, ice sculpture. What is it a sculpture of? Hmm, let's look. It looks like, it looks like a butterfly. Here is the body and here are the wings. See what tool is he using? What is this tool? It's a chisel. So he's also using a chisel to make an ice sculpture. The question is, why? Why do these sculptures not last long? These sculptures do not last long. Why? They're made of ice. What happens to ice? If it gets warm, the ice will melt. Oh no, that's too bad. Melt. So the ice will turn into water and it will slowly fall down. Well, that's too bad. It takes a long time, hard work to make an ice sculpture. But they're very beautiful. So many people make ice sculptures in the winter. But in the springtime, it gets warm and the ice sculptures melt. Bye-bye, ice sculpture. Too bad. <laughs> okay. Wow! Look at this sculpture. What do you think it's made of? It's made of snow. It is a snow sculpture. That's amazing. Look at the detail. What is the sculpture of? It's a sculpture of a pagoda and a lion in front of it. That's really amazing. How long do you think this sculpture will last? Will it last for thousands of years? No, too bad. It won't last very long. Maybe several weeks, maybe a month or two months. But when spring comes, this statue, this sculpture will melt. Mm, too bad. It's a lot of work made uh, this sculpture. Okay, so this is a snow sculpture. We can also see sculptures made of sand. Where do we find sand? Where are these kids? These kids are at the beach. Pada esso, right? They're at the beach. At the beach, you can find a lot of sand. Let's read together. Sand sculptures are fun to make. Sometimes there are sand sculptures contests. Sand sculptures contests. These sculptures 
do not last long. Why? Okay, so sand sculptures are fun to make. Maybe you made a sand sculpture, haven't you? When you go to the beach, make a sculpture from sand. You can make a castle or some shape in the sand. Sometimes you can see turtles, right? Or some animals or castles. Sand castles are very common. You can make a sand castle. It's fun. Sometimes there are contests to see who can make the best sand sculpture. That's a contest. And people say, oh, that's the best. That's the winner of the contest. This sculpture is the best. Maybe your sculpture will be the best. But these sculptures do not last long. Chane Paseo, where did we see that? Ice sculptures we saw before. Ice sculptures melt. Well, do sand sculptures melt? No. But sand sculptures also do not last long. Why? It's, they don't melt, but what happens? Well, at the beach, the water comes up and the water goes down. So what happens maybe at night? The water will come up and will wash the sand away. Or the sand is not very strong. Other people might come by and knock the sand down. Oh, too bad. Or the wind, right? Palam. If the, if, the, if the wind is very strong, it will also knock the sculpture down. Sand is not strong. So water can destroy it. People walking by can destroy it. Wind can destroy it. Sand sculptures do not last very long. Wow, that's amazing. Look how big this is. Here is a person. It's a woman, an adult woman. She's just this high. This is an amazing sand castle. Why do you think she is making this sand castle? Do you think she is in a contest? Probably. She is probably in a sand sculpture contest. And I hope she wins. Look at this sculpture. It's really amazing. How many things do you see here? We see many different shapes. There's a star. It looks like a snowflake. There are doors, stairs. Look, there are people's faces. Here's one. Here's another one. <laughs> this guy looks funny, right? Jimmy Sale. That's really amazing. Oh, here's an old guy with the beard, like Gandalf, the wizard, right? So this is really amazing. It took a long time to make this sand sculpture. Too bad it won't last long. But we can see it now. We can take pictures and we can remember it. So there are many kinds of sculptures. We talked about stone sculptures. We talked about wood sculptures. We talked about clay sculptures. We also looked at different materials, metal, ice, snow, sand. Many different materials are used to make sculptures. Can I give you a quiz? Let me see. What kind of sculptures last for thousands of years? Do you know? Stone, right. Stone sculptures last for thousands of years. Question two. What sculptures can you paint? What sculptures can you paint? Do you remember? Wood. Maja. Majayo. Wood sculptures. You can paint wood sculptures. Okay? 
Question three, 마지막 질문이, last question. Which sculptures have moving parts? Which sculptures have moving parts? Do you remember? Steel, or sorry, metal. Steel sculpture, metal sculpture is the answer. So, steel sculptures or metal sculptures can have moving parts. Wow, there's so many different kinds of sculptures. I'm really interested. Are you interested in sculptures? Maybe one day you will be a sculptor. And even if you're not a sculptor, I hope someday you make a sculpture at the beach out of sand. It's fun. Okay, well, that concludes, that finishes our lesson for today. We'll see you next time, everybody. Take care. Goodbye.